Welcome and thank you for joining us on this episode of Off The Pitch with TK. This is our YouTube channel, TK Sound and Visual TV. If you haven't subscribed, please remember to subscribe, like and comment on our videos. My name is TK and I'll be your host for this season. Today in our studio, we are joined by former Orlando Pirate, Platinum Stars middle fielder, Daniel Sailor Chabala. Sailor, how's it going? What's up, TK? How are you? Ah, how are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? life? Yeah, life, man. Because of COVID, it's, in, uh, it's, it's okay. We are, we are pushing. Yeah. It's not easy, but we are pushing. Mm. So, say like you are you are a guy, which township in the Val area? Yeah, say like you are a guy, zone 14. Say like you are a guy, 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 you are a guy. And how did you turn professional? Because most people started, especially who are not from your area, of course, started seeing you when you are playing professional. If it was not that Silver Stars, then it was at Orlando Pirates. Ah, uh, you, Kadile Bolo, in eight years, I remember well because there's this neighbor of mine, Akilenga Fitla, who scored a thing a lot, especially because he saw me playing Costa Rica. He took me to go and play for a team, Yamuno Zone 14. I don't remember the name of the team, but I remember the coach then. It was Bra Tiger. That was my first coach. Mm -hmm. uh, simply, why Kopula Libitola, he introduced me well to the game. Yeah, so. Roberto Batsi, we say that Bamti Bilehale goes booking because Kehola Gibapala Bolo. I once owned a team at the age of 14, I had my own club. So, but what Pioneer Seven Silver Castle, Mutu Kimotua Bolo. But I only became more serious Katiski when I was doing standard six. Because I can't get this girl. I the book a man. Bona di tin tin man. Ne si lo za. Ah, marikile high school ki ka position two. Yeah. Marak fit high school. So from primary to high school, no number two. From yeah. Yeah, my primary school I was doing well, top four all the time. Marak high school ki lega number two. Yeah. But I feel as cool as you know, man. Go and see the book and listen to that. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. 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 I'm Iba tatanya na hovan. Ki tatela bolo gana kuyo. So bolo yaba comfort ya kaza. This is where I can end my living. Yeah. Then I started focusing a little bit on soccer because I was multi talented. I used to play softball. I even got my colors, my regional colors, that softball. So and table tennis, I was good at it. I was fortunate when I was young. I was surrounded by people who loved sport, even not just soccer, different codes, karate. So uh, my friends, I would go with the karate guy, go karate on another day. It helped me a lot to play football. So uh, primary, like I said, it was the best education I got. Yeah. yeah. Beyond that, no. That is I, football. Beyond that, ball. 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 It's a learnable sport. Mm. Uh, by watching others how they played uh, and spending more time watching football. Mm. Although I was not TV, mm. but at those, in, during those days, it was only easy to watch more games because football was played all over. When you go to other zones, there's games. I mean, we used to watch people like Bo Patrick Machete. Uh, I don't know if you know Everton. From Spokane to Everton, I would walk from Spokane to go and watch that guy play. Mm. Uh, so you would see your there's passion again, whether there is money or no money, soccer boots or no soccer boots. At the end of the day, the vision was that one day I will be there and I must work hard. Yeah. Uh, I remember high school, you know, what you want to be question when you grow up, uh, when you are done with matric. Majitana Bugadi Dog, Ta, Wabon. Serious career. And I just popped my hand and said, professional play, mm. I will play for Bafana. Mm. I remember people laughed <laughs> as if I'm crazy, yeah. <laughs> but that was my dream. That's what I saw. Mm. One day I must, I must play for my country. Mm. 
And who pull again? Who will give? Who will answer the apartheid? You know. Yeah. But I had that dream. Or you know, I will represent my my country one day. Mm. So growing up, go valley. Yo, development was there. Mm. Uh, I played Champions Little League. We played with Bo Steve Lekwele against them. He was playing for Two Four Joy. I was playing for Happy Tigers. You know. I remember the last Champions Little League. We won it. Go region. Mm. <laughs> We traveled to FNB Stadium to play the, the finals. Mm. When we arrived there, we found Two for Joy playing the finals. <laughs> two for Joy, the same team <laughs> that, we, from your region. that we beat from our region. And I remember well because when I saw them playing in the field, I said that was supposed to be me in there. Yeah. But one day mm. I will play in the Pet Stadium like this. Yeah. Uh, actually, I think it motivated me to yeah, want it, yeah, to, to want it even more and more. Yeah. You know? And then I remember when I was doing metric, uh, cheap already was already most of the Majita were professionals. Mm. So my father was very strict. So he wanted school, you know. Yeah. Even though he was not staying with me, mm. I wanted to please him. Or else again, let me finish my metric and then I will focus on football 100%. Yeah. And when I finished my metric, I remember I had to go and study Kota Melin. Mm. Uh, Against the programming for a couple of months, mm. due to finances, <laughs> no difficult one. Yeah. I had to come back home. Mm. Uh, I started playing for a team called Val Ambassadors. Mm. Yeah, I played for Val Ambassadors. It was a new team we formed. We didn't have a goalkeeper. We had quite a strong team. Mm. And then I had to. Me, I was a captain. Me and other three players, we went to look for a goalkeeper. Mm. And then we find we found Avril Party. Mm. He was a striker there, mm. but you, the body was right. Mm. So Rabuele, no, Raymond, come and join us. Shut our protect. And I mean, those guys that I went with, they were my seniors as well. So Lebona Balana was so And then he came to our club, and everything became easy. Mm. I started understanding the game even more because, uh, as the captain of a club, captaining older people in a ghetto full of stars, you know, you must raise your game every time. Mm. So I had to learn even harder things on the game, you know. I remember tackling was one of the things that I was good at as a young boy. I could tackle at five meter distance. People would ask, when are we going to But I knew softball that I used to play mm. is the one that contributed to my tackling because in order for you to reach the first base, most of the time you tackle. Mm. Because it's the, it's the first touch, yeah, I understand. Mm. So I learned to tackle from that. And I tackled a lot. Owen Dagama, mm. he was watching the game, I remember that day. Mm. I don't know whether it was the tackles or the hitters, mm. because I'm short, I could jump more than but what they did. So it became easy, according to Owen Hassan Kotel, or Ramon mm. and a full, a complete player. Mm. Because I was playing at the back on that game. Mm. Uh, I remember I scored an own goal. <laughs> Immediately after that one goal, I went and scored that other side yeah. because I was a defender. Mm. So that amazed him. So with that easy, he went there and scored another goal. He did not panic after yeah. scoring an own goal. And after he spoke to me, he told me, I want you in my team. Mm. And that team that I was playing with Avril Party, the Val Ambassadors, mm. we were number one. Mm. When Dagama is number 14 in the lock. Mm. He wants me to leave number one, because if we are winning, we're going to the playoffs, there is an convert. Mm. It was then called in the first division. Yeah. So he had a vision. Mm. So I listened to his vision. What, what is your plan, Papa? And then he explained what is his dream. Mm. And I found that his dream is more in line with my dream. Uh, mm. Although he's in a position that, hey, 14, you are near not relegation, looking. it's not looking good. Yeah. But I said to myself, let me give it uh, two years and see what will happen. Mm. I mean, I grew up from Val, so I know Val a lot, you know. Mm. And then I left with him, I think, uh, two weeks later, mm. after, it was during the season, in the like, second round, and then I left. I went to join Uendagama at his club called Pakest. Mm. Yeah, that's when a uh, uh, war started because now remember I'm leaving the team in number one. In number one, where I was a captain mm. to go and join a team that is playing for relegation. They mm. were not that bad, you know. Mm. 
Mm. But the league was competitive. Mm. So I went there. We started getting other players, you know, two, three players. I remember we finished the lock at number eight. Mm. And then Bo Avril went to the playoffs. Mm. That's when Cosmos found Avril. Mm. And then Avril went to, to go and play for Cosmos. So I stayed with, uh, the team was called Parkes, they are Uwentagam. Mm. So I stayed another year. On that second year, mm -hmm. we played, we finished, I think, top four. Because mm. uh, we were now it better, it was now a better team. Not because of me, because of all the other players, other that, players that came in. Yes. In. But I was still a captain there. Mm. Uh, I would come up with training sessions sometimes. Owen would give me, you know, he, he had trust on me, you know. Mm. He believed in me so much, you know. I believe or if a coach believes in a player, mm. a player can do so much, you know. Mm. Uh, so much is relied on the player. At the same time, so much is relied on the coach. Mm. So if the two are okay, the results are easily on the way. Mm. So Owen gave me that. He made sure that even if I don't get everything that I want, but mm. when it comes to football, mm. my soccer boots, spot on, whatever that I need, the tools that I needed, I get. Mm. You understand? And the way I wanted to train, uh, I wanted, to, I used to train hard. Mm. I was lazy, mm. but I, I loved to train hard because I knew what uh, I'm lazy. And he would know which buttons to to press in order for me to to push it. Mm -hmm. Yes, but. Yeah. At that time, I was not aware that uh, I have a problem or understand uh, of buttons. Mm. <laughs> when he pressed, I would sometimes play crying. Yeah. Uh, I remember the time, okay, the match between Silver Stars and Owens Dagama Slap. Mm. Uh, he was coaching the two teams. Mm. He was coaching our team and coaching Envela team. Mm. We were training earlier or later. Mm. In between, he will train this other team. Mm. So the first year, it went well. Second year, it went well. And now the third year, he matches the two teams. Mm. Now I'm playing Vodacom. We're going to match with a team from Vela. Mm. That's how I, that's how things now started shaping up, you know. Because yeah. uh, I remember these guys who came, they were big. Mm. You know, they used to play in competitive. Vela was tougher than even PSL. Mm. You know, in those days, Man marking was the name of the game, you yeah. understand? So playing against these guys for position, you know, Ray, I want to be in the first 11 and all that. But I always had confidence. Mm. I remember we played against them. He was our coach for both teams, so he trained us the same way. Mm. So the same level of fitness they had, we had. It's just that they were bigger and older. Yeah. Uh, I think we did well from our side because we didn't lose the team, the game. Mm. And then I made it to the team here. Yeah. Uh, Silver Stars, the newly team the as a captain. Yes, as a, as a captain. On arrival, on the, after the match? Uh, yeah. After that, 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 that match in Jay, mm. of selection, mm. I made it as a captain. Mm. And everyone was okay. And then, to tell you the truth, my game just went like from 50 to 80. Yeah. I started performing like crazy. You know? yeah. Because, you know, sometimes you don't, hear, you don't have to have players who are like you. Mm. You need players who can deliver on the day, you know, who can perform. That's what I understood. You know, football is not just a game that you play. You you must perform. Every game is performance. Mm -hmm. So I was fortunate that Silver Stars uh, was playing with performers, you know. Mm -hmm. I, and I remember there was a guy called December and the guy called Maurice. They were both songers. Yeah. December and Gobe. December and and Maurice Chauke. Ah. We call them horses, you know. Mm -hmm. They will mark two players. Remember, our team was we were playing 3-5-2. Mm. And then this 3-5-2, we had one on the side, one on the side. Mm. It means this one on the side, he must attack. Mm. But immediately, he must go and mark. That's it. That is his job. Mm. And when we lose the ball, he must not mark anybody else. He must go and mark. He must go to his position. Yeah. So we were playing a game. I remember <laughs> the ball came from the opponents. Passing to a midfielder, Maurice was going back to his position. You know, he jumped the ball mm. because of the performance. Yeah. <laughs> he knew if I don't get there mm. before the ball, mm. I'm in trouble. But he left the ball. This guy, the ball was coming to him. He left it to go and mark the man. The position, the position where, where he must the be. The way he was instructed, how yeah. you must play. 
And what was nice about it, no one shouted the man. I said, man, why are you leaving the ball? Because we understood what he was doing. <laughs> if he's not doing that and then they, he makes a mistake with the ball, he's in trouble. Shape. We're losing the shape at the same time. Yeah. So people will say, Silver Stars is a funny team, man. Why are they playing like this? But it was our plan. We knew mm. we don't have much time. I mean, we were older. I was about 20, I was 25 now. Mm. I knew or I've reached my peak now. Yeah. I need to be in the professional setup. Mm. So every game for me was points. Mm. It was not about to be known or I can play football how. So we wanted results. You want we to suffocate to the, you the want opponent. To get to the PSL. We just want to be in the PSL. The only way to get there is to win our games. And mm. I remember we didn't have money. Our club didn't have money. Mm. Uh, I remember my salary was 3,000. Mm. At that time. At that time. Mm. And, and there was 25. And I'm 25, and yeah. I'm still taking care of my parents. I've got uh, my siblings that uh, I must uh, help at home. Yeah. So with 3,000, it was okay. Yes. Uh, because uh, I could send something at home. I could take yeah. care of myself, knowing that the bigger one might come if I push. Yeah. So like I said, the performers were performing. And then every game we suffocated. I remember we never lost a game that I remember mm. play. Remember, this is our first season. Yes. We came number two mm. on the lock. And then the following season, we won the league without losing a game. Mm. By what? Performing. Yes. So now you're in the PSL. Now we are in the PSL. But I never played for Silver Stars at PSL because when we gained promotion, Pirates bought me. Mm. But where did Pirates see you? Was there an event game or cup? It was Absa, Absa, Absa Cup. You played against? Against Pirates. We played against them. But you, were, you in, were you in the PSL by then? No, no, no. It, it was the first time. It was a year before. And you beat, the, you beat them? We beat them. Remember, they won the league uh, that season. Yeah. And then we beat them. Yeah. They were fit, I remember, but they were not fit like me. I was fitter. Yeah. Because the way we were training with Dagama. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> when Dagama's warm up, yeah. warm up, yeah. it was 50 laps. Mm. So when you come to trials with mm. us, mm. it doesn't chase you away. Mm. No, you will chase yourself away with that warm up, and I'm not. Just talk, I'm not mean. talking jogging, my friend. Yeah. We were not jogging, TK. Yeah. I mean, we were running. At a, at a certain sixty. At a certain pace. pace. Yeah. You would stand there, and talk to the assistant coach. Mm. Uh, I remember it was Rudolf Katnase, a former Kaiser Chiefs. Left back. Uh, left back. He was mm. his assistant. They would sit, stand there and talk. So when we are running and passing them. He keeps on talking. Now we are lap number 25 minutes. Yeah, I say, guys, let's increase the pace. <laughs> if we increase the pace, maybe we will stop. Yeah. And then we increase the pace. When he likes it and we are running, uh, like running competitively, mm. then we'll run maybe 30 laps, 40 laps. <laughs> uh, so, it was tough. So on that week when you're going to play Pirates in the Cup, mm. Mm. your personal motivation is, this is a window to market myself. As the coach say, guys, Go market yourself. I don't need to say a lot. Or it, it just happened that you had a good game on a day, or was there a plan from the beginning? Yeah, well, I believe nah, I planned uh, personally. Mm. Uh, I think even individual as players, we did plan. It's just that we didn't talk about it. Mm. Now nah, I told myself, since I was supporting Orlando Pirates, well, uh, actually, I, I did not tell you this. I once played for Pirates mm. as, as a junior. Mm. Uh, I played for Pirates Development for about six months, mm. and then I went to Kaiser Chiefs. Mm. The same year Chabu Pulo gained promotion, mm. I was with him. The same mm. season with Kaiser Junior. I, I was coached by Coach Asin Tule. Mm. That's when I went back. Remember I was telling you I was doing C plus at Damelin yes. in Chobek. So yeah. that's how I went to Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs development. Mm. Uh, so that development also, it helped uh, a lot in my, because now I watch his JZ Pirates, I watch his year Chiefs. Yes. I mean, I feel, man. one of these good days, I must yeah. play for one of these big clubs. Yeah, understand? I need to come back. I need to, I need to go there. And, but and this time, they will buy me. Yeah. That's and, what I told myself. And also, you believe, as you said, when you started, you believe you learned football. I, uh, you were not born in football. You no, learned it. I learned it. Yeah. I think we all learn it. Yeah. Uh, Messi can be the best player in the world. He mm -hmm. learns it. I think it's, it's how we, we put it in our head uh, mm -hmm. and what you take out, you know, yeah. because... You must sacrifice a lot of things in order to be the best. Mm. Uh, some is easier to do things, whereas others it will be harder to mm. do the same thing. Yeah. But as long as we work, you mm. work every day as a player, you'll become 
the best. I mean, look at Cristiano. Cristiano is a workaholic. He, he trains hard to achieve these goals. Mm. Whereas Messi, it looks easier on him when he mm. touches the ball. But he also works hard. Yeah. Just that he doesn't use maybe weights mm. like Cristiano. But it's all how you take it here. Yeah. You know, that's why I'm saying, I believe when we are young, mm. we need to give these boys a pro proper, proper training. Develop men exactly. guide them. Right. And, and guide them right. Like I told you, I remember the first coach who coached me wearing a jersey. Mm. It's unfortunate he, he, trained, he trained me on a big field, 11 v 11. You know, mm. I was playing at that eight, under eight. Mm. Whereas we understand well, right now, when you are training a boy who's under eight, you must use a certain size. size. You understand? Yeah. You cannot, he, he can run 10 meters many times. Mm. But if you put him on 11 v 11, from corner to corner, he will run how many times? Yeah, you are finishing him. You are finishing him. He's yeah. not going to come back tomorrow. He's going to yeah. say, No, daddy, mommy, football is hard for me. Yeah. And again, the balls that we use. Remember, we used kickoff. Yeah. Remember, you know how kickoff, yeah, how does. hard it is. That yeah. that thing is hard, my man. Yeah. When you are 10 years and you head that thing. <laughs> some guys who were talented even more than us, they yeah. quit soccer because of just small yeah. things. Yeah. And then now, on that particular day, you told yourself, tomorrow I'm going to show Pirates that quality. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that game, my man, uh, I, I told myself, you know, this is an opportunity. Uh, I trained with most of these guys. Uh, some of them I wore the jersey before them because I was at the development. Mm. Right? And so it's time for me to. I mean, I'm, I'm 26. Mm. I'm at my peak. I'm fit. Mm. I don't have problems. So what's wrong? Let me go and perform. Mm. That's what I told myself. And I performed, I believe, you know, because the calls that I received after the game were crazy. Mm. Uh, I mean, I got calls from Sundowns Management, Ajax. Some people say in case achieves, I did not know. I mm. But that showed what I performed. I remember mm. I was watching the news the same day. A day after, no, a day after, there was this guy who was reading news on TV. Mm. Weather, weather focus. Yes, I remember. He was saying uh, when he goes to Limpopo, he mm. was calling Limpopo sailor's place. Yeah. So, I mean, how life, how quickly life changes. You mm. know, I was nobody a day uh, or two before. Nobody now, knew. no people are talking about me on the news. Yeah. Wow. There's an advert, sailor, respect sailor. Hey, man, what's happening? Yeah. It's because of a big game or like Orlando Pirates. And when you beat such a, when you are known and you beat people who are known, it's, yeah. it feels good, man. Yeah. It's such a good thing. <laughs> and remember, I loved Pirates. I, yeah. I was a supporter of Pirates since I was young. Yeah. So beating them was making sure that they take me. Yeah. yeah there was no other way. So now it's clear that they are interested in you. Actually, no, parents, it was not clear. I was, I knew what the Sundowns wanted me. Mm. Sundowns really wanted me. After that game, they started to... Sundowns was there. Mm. Sundowns was there a day after. Mm. But uh, because I, I, I believed I should be loyal to my club, you know, mm. uh, even though I didn't have a contract. Mm. I, I believed that I should be loyal to them because there was a certain time that I spent with them that helped my game to be where it was. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to, to tell them, you know what, uh, Sundowns is pursuing me. Mm. They said, no, we're not going anywhere. And before there were offers, I mean, I was supposed to go to Russia. There were people, when I was still playing Gomvel, mm. I had offers overseas. I don't know what happened with those offers, yeah. uh, but they were there. Uh, even, okay, maybe I'll talk later, even at Bafana, after playing for Bafana, Bafana, during the AFCON, 2006, mm. Benny McCarthy and Pire Issa, mm. they called me to their room. Mm. They told me Rennes wanted me. Mm. That's in France. That is in France. Mm. I said, yeah. So I told them, I'm having a problem with my agent, mm. uh, Mike McCarp, mm. because I just can't sell them. You know, I stayed at Pirates for three years. Mm. And in that three years, mm. I never saw Mike McCarp. Mm. I only saw him when I arrived at Pirates because Ivan Kosa said I must have an agent. Mm. But I did not negotiate with, uh, no one negotiated a contract for me at Pirates. I went myself. Mm. But the chairman after the meeting said I must have an agent. But I understood because he wanted me to focus on the game. Mm. And because now it's a different game. I'm not in Vail, I'm a professional now, so mm. I must learn. I mean, if I'm giving an advice, I will take it. Mm. But uh, only to find out I'm a cup man. Mm. I mean, I was injured the first couple of 
games I played for Pirates the first season. Uh, I believe as an agent, you, you, you need to come and check your player. Yeah. Uh, he didn't do that. Um, the injuries that I had wanted someone who's really managing me because mm. he would have noticed or man, this guy, the problem is not Hakal or the training. The problem is just muscular. He needs a massage. Yeah, maybe if you can get a massage, you'll be fine. Mm. He did not notice those things because he was never there. He, you know, he, he wanted me to play and maybe sell me if it's time to sell. But I was matured already. You know. mm. uh, uh, lucky enough, I did go to school a little bit. So I, I understood what is a contract, a little bit of small and things. So, I mm. so it was not easy for him to play on my head. So when I was selected for the national team, mm. they want me to sign a contract. You know. mm. I'm with bags, my man, I'm flying. Mm. People are here. And that's, that's your agent's company that want you to sign a contract? They want me to sign a new contract with them mm. because now I'm going. Mm. I said, guys, if I was not selected, I was I going to see you here? Mm. No, I cannot sign a contract. Because Let me go and play. Now you are going on an open window exactly. where you might market yourself exactly. and somebody might be interested and they'll be commissioned. Exactly. So now what I'm saying to them is, okay, guys, let me go there and play. I will talk when I come back. Mm. Because I'm not going to talk to you like I spoke with you before. Now we're going to talk differently. Mm. So they got mad, I think, because after, uh, after the talk I had with Pire and I told them they must talk to who at the end of the day. I think a big mistake. Because that was the end of the case. The story ended you there. Never had it ever. And ever. Because now, would you think Mike Macap will, will sell me? Because he's not going to make money. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> that was the end of the deal. So, so when they were saying there is a team, you said, my supposed, uh, or somebody who's supposed to be my agent is this guy. Exactly. But uh, maybe when they went to him, he told them something different. He just ignored uh, the information. Exactly. So, but. Uh, those are the things you learn yes. you know, as, you, as you grow in the game because some of the things we don't know. Mm. Uh, we go in the game thinking everything is smooth, you mm. know. But you, there's vampires here. So now, j just before you, 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 you said Sundown showed interest, but just before you signed to Pirate, you almost, you almost signed for Sundown. Yeah. How close was it? It was very close because I met with the owners then. Mm. Yes, we sat down at coffee. Mm. Like You've seen the contract, or you just had a verbal agreement? The contract was there. Yeah. Uh, the offer was there. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't want to even see it. You didn't want to see it? No. You wanted to go to pirates? No, no, no. There was no pirates yet. Yes. Yes. Loyalty, you see. Yeah. Uh, I believed or I should be loyal. Yeah. Uh, these to, people. To your then team, which to, was Silver Which Silverstars. was Silver Stars. Yeah. Uh, I, don't want, I didn't want to leave the club being pointed with fingers. You yes. know, I did it before when I left. To go join the Yes, when you, you know, Val ambassadors. Guns had to come out yeah. at that time to mm. tell you the mm. truth. Uh, because Val ambassadors didn't want to release me. Mm. And I was the captain, you know, the club owner loved me so much. Mm. To hear me saying I'm leaving all of a sudden, it's, mm. it was crazy. Mm. So, you know, there was guns involved, you know, but no one was shot at, yeah. uh, at the end of the day. It was more of head. People Just were head. Yeah, yeah. yeah, people were head to the man. You can't leave us like this. We have uh, we have a future with you, but I, I saw my future differently. Yeah. Exactly. So now you get to Paris. You negotiate your own deal, direct with the chairman or the team managers in between. Who are you talking to now? Ah, uh, it's me and the chairman. Yeah. I was never I was never afraid to meet the man. Uh, <laughs> people were afraid. I mean, even when I was at the office, there people hey, man, chairman. You hear people are hey, chairman, hey, chairman. <laughs> nah, what's wrong? I mean, he's the man. I'm a man. We'll sit down and talk. He yeah. wants me again. Yeah, Linda wants to play for Pirates. Why should I be scared? Mm. So I went there. I looked the man in there. We spoke well. We laughed. Yeah, it was okay. And the numbers on the contract monthly, is it convincing? You are happy? Okay. When you are in 3,000 at Vela and then Pirates says we give you 15. Mm. You don't know. Well, I was not a money man per se. Yeah. I knew I would make money. Yeah. Uh, but my main focus was performance. Yes. I knew when I perform, mm. things happen. Mm. That's the secret was there. You yeah. understand? So I, I did not say to Ivan or Chairman, hey, I need 50,000. And I said, give me what you think I deserve to get. And yeah. then they drafted the contract. And, it, yeah, and then there's a signing on fee, obviously, a big team. Uh, the signing on fee, like I said, I said, give me what you think I deserve. I did not negotiate in that regard. Or I want this, I want that. Mm. Uh, because remember, I'm 27. Yeah. Now when Pirates buys me. Mm. So, and I remember, okay, Emma Bill, help me here. Who's the first player to be sold 
a million in South Africa. The first player to be sold for a million um, from from Vela or from S South Africa. South Africa. I'm just saying the first, the landmark. I'll have to do some research. Maybe with the ones I know, they might have not been the first because I know some players that were so expensive from Vela, like our Chambers one from Bartos to San Lorenzo was a bit to be expensive, but he might not be the first. One. The first again. Yeah. That deal, yeah. Platinum stars. Yeah, in Pirates. Yes. Yes. But I was told by the coach Owen Dagama, so he. He always says to me when we, spoke, we talk on the phone, he says, Hey Muna, do you know you are the first player of, to be sold by a million my play? Yeah. And people are not talking about it. So, South Africa is crazy. Was yeah. Why is it like this in this country? It depends. Who, who's talking? Or where <laughs> you come from? Yeah. Uh, I'm a South African. So now, one million platinum stars and silver stars then to Orlando to Pirates. Pirates. You get to Pirates, you are happy with the contract. But I did not even get a cent from that million, Baba. That million? But uh, what's happening? Yeah. No, no, but the million is for the team, was No, you must get team. certain percentage there. And you helped me because you were in the game. Uh -huh. You shouldn't be the way the team says, it's our asset, we developed him, we spent so much on him, that's why we sell him one million. He will get his signing on fee, it's his share. Mm -mm. It doesn't work that way. Mm. It doesn't. You're supposed to get from your safe. I must get, uh, I must get. Certain person. So, so, so now say like you are at Pirates, image Okira Bumang. Yeah, this this was weird. Can uh, get training go high go go Highlands Park on a Silver Stars, mm. and the coach uh, the boss calls me in the morning. Mm. I was uh, the bus. I was waiting for the bus to come and pick me up. Mm. He says, "No, you're not coming to training. Wait, it is Thursday. It mm. was only Thursday. Huh? No, you're not coming to training. Someone is gonna come and pick you up. Who's coming to pick me up?" I don't, I'm not thinking about pirates. And mm. No, someone's coming. Wait there. Okay. I, the boss called me. He tells me this. Let me wait. And then the guy comes. I hear the hoot outside. Pip, pip. I go out. Hey, man, you got your ID. Mm. Must I bring here? Yeah, I go get my ID. We go. Hey, man, where am I going? Because mm. the offices that I know are this direction. When are you, are, <laughs> you are taking this direction. Are you serious? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Ah, well, inside I become, yes, finally it's happening. Yes. What I, I've been training hard for is happening. So I was excited, mm. uh, very much excited. And I went to Orlando Pirates on a Thursday, signed the same day. And then I flew late, yeah, mm. late six o'clock, I think. I flew to Deben. We, Pirates was playing Saturday. Mm. The the Vodacom challenge, remember for the, the bid for the yes. World Cup. Yes. Uh, I left Thursday night. I arrived Friday. Friday morning we had a session. It was a friendly game. I went. I played. Mm. And then after the friend, it was maybe 20 minutes. I played 20 minutes, and then we went to the hotel again. Saturday it was on. Mm. So basically, I only know my teammates via TV, mm. and via the game that I played against. I I, I really don't know them. <laughs> now you understand them. So now there's a, now there's the problem. It's the first day now. Going to training, I did not go with a bus. Mm. I went with the with some with someone who was taking the who driver. took me there, the driver. Yeah. Took me there and from there I went back. Now, game day, I must now be in the bus. Mm. So now when you enter the bus, these people are not your friends in the first time. <laughs> people are sitting with their bags, Baba. Yeah. You know, I, I, I know right, I've got a homeboy here, Steve Liguel is my homeboy. I'm, I'm searching for him. So, you know, you enter in the bus <laughs> from... I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm Where is this guy? He's at the back now. So I must go. So fortunately enough, uh, Lebo Muko and I was sitting alone and then he invited me. Mm. He just made it that simple. And, yeah. and then I became friends with him in an instant. Yeah. Uh, and then everything became history. I became friends with everyone. In the first day, yeah. uh, after the game, everyone, you know, eh, when you arrive, mm. people will just say, mm. but your performance again will make them say, yeah, we want you or not. So yeah. after the game, everyone was happy. Ah, everyone. ah, no, ah, everyone was, it was mm. on. Yeah. Yeah. But the little they knew uh, I'm dangerous. Yeah. I can play anywhere. You see, when I learned one thing when I was young, I can. I should play everywhere. Mm. I cannot be just a, an attacker. Mm. I must be a player. 
if the opportunity is at the back, I must play at the back. Mm. Yeah, my brother. So now you, you had a big team, you, you, you are recognized, you're playing for Orlando Pirate, you can afford a car. Now you somewhere, mm. somehow you decide to buy a car, or the, the other things you need to fix before buying a car, or the pressure, how much is the rent, the relative parking, you know, one of the rest. 